We are almost all set for the Vento to be starting. As you saw in the last video, I had it all plumbed, so all the fuel lines there. I had to get a little bit thicker, 5 16th to go to the carb here, the inlet. I ran an extra ground off the valve cover to the frame, which I ground down, and I ran another one from the frame here to the negative of the battery, which is right underneath here. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump the starter again, but I'm gonna take out the uh, spark plug because I wanna make sure there's spark. Uh, otherwise, I'll just be wasting my time and kill the battery trying to turn it over. It's a bunch of little things you have to do first. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the spark plug out now. So what I'm gonna do right now is take the coil, turn the ignition on, and with hitting the start button, I should see if there's spark or not. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera. I use the... I'm not getting any spark. So it's a good thing that I did this. So now the things to check are going to be CDI, the coil, and the stator. And I'm going to go through all three of those and just make sure everything is all set and see what I find. So what's happening is I looked into it, I changed the CDI. CDI's worked. It's a brand new spark plug, brand new coil, still having the same thing. The stator is the old stator out of the original Vento motor. And what I noticed is with the pickup right there, which you might have seen in the time lapse, it is no longer, there's usually a silver prong that comes out right over here. And that's what catches on the magnet on the flywheel. Well, that prong that was there is no longer there. I don't know if it was like that on the last motor. I never took a look at it, so I'm not too certain. So what I'm gonna have to do is tomorrow, which is Monday, which stinks because I was hoping to have this started for a weekend, but tomorrow I'm going to have to go to the retail shop. Well, I guess of course I'm going to have to go to the retail shop. It's work, so I'm going to have to go to the retail shop tomorrow, and then I'm going to pick up a new April stator. I'm going to take the flywheel, everything back off again, get a flywheel puller, and put the new stator on. So the next time I come into the video, gonna be starting to do this later. I'm gonna keep this all in one video. I want this thing to run for the video. So I'll see you in just a second for you guys and another day for me. We're gonna finally try this out. I have been sweating, I'm bleeding, I cut myself open. Um, what's been happening is I had a fuel issue where the too much fuel was going into the carburetor because it's kept gravity fried and it was overflowing the carburetor. I went to the motor itself. So I had to drain all the engine oil out, turn the bike over with the spark plug out to get anything out of the cylinder. It should be clear to go. I now have the fuel light going to it. I have a pet cock that's coming in, but right now I'm using channel locks to lock it in. Once I release that, the bike should hopefully start. I have spark now. I have fuel. So let's see. I didn't drain the battery. Oh, how funny would that be? I got the choke up. I bet you have to put the battery on a tender. I knew it. I think I've been trying it so much that I killed the battery. I can't get a break. I'm gonna try starter fluid and see how that goes. I 
And that's all the batteries got. All right. Of course. Of course. It's day like four or five of trying to start the vent though. I hope this has it. So, in the last video, the battery died. I just finally got a tender on it, charged it. As you can tell, <clears throat> get low on gas. So, got the carb set. Let's start this up. Oh, let's hope. I know I got spark, I know I got fuel. I'm like speechless right now. Um, that thing sounds so mean. It's so loud. I, I don't even know. What, I don't even know what to say. Um, all right. <clears throat> it's it's awesome when something comes together. I've put a lot of hard work into this, making a lot of things work that don't necessarily work for this bike. So for this right now to come together after all the like trials and errors that I've had, like with the wiring, the electrical, the, the battery, the start button, the spark stator, after going through everything that I did and then finally have it start, and I didn't tell you guys what happened also, or I might have, I don't remember from previous videos, but fuel got into the carburetor and overflowed the carburetor, went into the oil, got in the oil, so I had to train all the oil, go through this procedure to make sure that nothing got messed up in the motor. So it runs. Vento runs. <laughs> Vento runs. So I guess now my next steps are gonna be button everything up get the wheelie bar straight, situation straightened out. I gotta pick up some race gas this week um, cause that gas is just about empty. And then I'll take it probably to like our machine shop area, which is a little back strip and start making test hits, put the wide band on it and start making my first test hits on it and get ready for Wednesday night where they have like testing tunes. I don't typically show like excitement well, but I'm like just cave and talk right now. I'm, I'm so happy. so. Thank you all for the support and supporting the channel and helping with this build. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And the next video will be riding the Bento.